<laughs> Senator Kirk Dillard, uh, gubernatorial candidate in the studio with us now. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. You know, mine would be Don't Be Fooled Again. Oh, you know, there we go. A little oh. Who song. Right in, right oh, in with I, the runner. Wait a minute. Are you committing to the Who right now? Or do you also like uh, other groups that have performed at halftime of the Super Bowl? Well, I, I like, I, you know, I, I truly, and I'm not pandering here, uh, although I get accused of it all the time, <laughs> Chicago would be my favorite group of all time. Of because course. it shows you my vintage, and I also went to Nepal University where sure. many of them went. All right, so, let's get this so, up. so when you say Don't be fooled again you're making reference to what um you know make sure we know what we're doing and today's theme i think will be be aware i mean bruce ronner is uh, back in the news with another couple of guys from a company called converge x uh where prosecutors said it was uh, an a brazenly scandalous uh, way that uh, a company he invested in uh, built investors built charities it's it's time and time again i mean bruce ronner has more close uh, business associates in a federal penitentiary, and we have governors there. The, the operative word would be close, I guess, when Mr. Rauner would... Well, uh, close, you know, yeah. Crane Chicago Business had one uh, two weeks ago, front page of their paper, where it's a hunting buddy, so it's more than just a business relationship, although Bruce was a major investor. The SEC comes into the St. Louis company, shuts it down, and his buddy's in the federal pen. Yeah. And uh, it's happened uh, in Michigan, 8,000 people got unemployed, and the CEO and others went to uh, prison. Bruce got tens of millions of dollars. Everybody else lost $285 million. And uh, a University of Detroit law professor said that uh, the scheme that Mr. Rauner's firm was in, if it wasn't for World Common Enron, would have been the largest accounting fraud in American history. But, but How many of these can we have and expect this guy's electable in November? But, but to be fair, Rauner, his firm, haven't been charged with wrongdoing. And unlike WorldCom and Enron, where you had the CEOs go to prison for a long time, I mean, Rauner hasn't uh, faced... Uh, anything associated with being accused of criminal or even civil wrongdoing. There's many of these situations. I mean, if it was one, I might slough it off, but my mother always taught me where there's smoke, there's fire. We haven't seen the end of the nursing home kinds of uh, issues where uh, these cases have been kicked back, and uh, his firm uh, was, in fact, uh, had a right. number of more than a billion dollars well, worth at, of at this point, zero plus zero so plus zero drip, plus drip, zero drip, 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 equals drip. zero. There's no drips. Right. There's no nothing yet. You don't have it. Uh, here, let, I'm going to say like you big time attorneys do. You know, you used to be with Lord Bissell and Brooke, right? Or, right. Yeah, I, I yeah I know that. I rem remember the ampersands. Uh, assuming arguendo, for the sake of argument, that all these things are true, you're still taking money from the teachers' union, and we've got to. This is, Illinois' education system is in bad shape and the pension system's in bad and those two converge with teachers union and you're you're taking money from them well i'm not for a progressive income tax i have broad based support bruce i was endorsed by the state rifle association yesterday uh, I'm endorsed by both pro-life groups, and if you want to beat Pat Quinn, I'm the only guy that's going to beat Pat Quinn, and I have broad-based support. The teachers' unions support me. My father was a teacher. I got kids in public schools. They know where I'm at. I voted for Reverend Meek's voucher bill to let the poorest performing uh, school kids uh, go where they want to. I support charter schools, so they know where I'm at. They're not going to get everything they want, but you know what? Uh, when is it bad to thank a teacher? And a third of the membership of the Illinois Education Association are Republican primary voters. The operating engineers support my candidacy. Half of their members are Republican primary voters. And this is about addition, Bruce. It's not about subtraction. And if you want to beat Pat Quinn, uh, I'm the only guy that's going to be able to beat Pat Quinn. I, I want to uh, tackle both of those, but the first, uh, the electability, who can beat Pat Quinn. You've said in a previous debate, that uh, talking about one of the Rauner companies that he invested in, this is one of a thousand reasons why Bruce Rauner is unelectable. Uh, I mean, if he is the nominee, do you think Pat Quinn gets reelected? I think the Democrat Governors Association, in, in its this is like sports. Bruce, you're a broken down old sportscaster. Um, well said. Flattery. It is, yeah. uh, and I mean that flattering. I used to, I used to laugh at you, and, and I used to like, uh, oh I like your All right, already. But, um, <laughs> now, now you have to say <laughs> something nice about me. <laughs> I like you, and, and you're from Wheaton. Yeah, there you're, you go. You're from God's country. Um, you know, you put the pay-to-play things together. The Democrat Governors Association, I may not have the money uh, to, to get out the word, but I guarantee you the Democrat Governors Association will. And it's, this is like athletics. It's about matchups. And, you know, Pat Quinn, a populist, in his playbook, he matches up best to beat a guy like Bruce Rauner. 
you know, I'm about competency. I don't have lots of commercials or slick commercials like Bruce Rauner. I don't have slogans. I have solutions. And I just think matchup-wise, Pat Quinn is just salivating, as are the Democrat governors, especially if Jim Oberweiss is the U.S. Senate nominee to have Bruce Rauner, the Republican nominee. They'll knock him down. Well, he may he may be running in Florida, not Illinois. But, right. but the uh, objection. Yeah, I know. It's gratuitous. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the teachers' union, just to go back to that, um, Sixty-six percent of kids in fourth grade in the state do not read at fourth grade level, do not do math at fourth grade level. Uh, it's my supposition, as you know, that the teachers' unions, I'm not talking about the one in three Republican primary voters, I'm not talking about rank-and-file teachers, but the teachers' unions are the bulwarks against rethinking and restructuring K-12 through education. And so how can you make that claim that you're similarly interested when you're being financed by organizations that have been the purveyors of the status quo in Springfield for generations? Dan, I hear where you're coming from, and uh, I have, you know, I've got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. Uh, I ask tough questions to teachers. I've got a best-in-class education program, and I'll listen to you, Dan, and you will come with me, and we'll go talk to teachers, and we will try to do uh, what we need to make sure is done that our education system improves. I'm not uh, for the status quo. Uh, 